Hey, this is Jarek the Arab Dragon from Red Dragon Airsoft, and I'm going to be doing another review today. Just got a gun in stock, and this gun is the JP FAMOS. I know a lot of you have been waiting for a good review of the FAMOS. I certainly myself have been looking for one and figured, why not take the shot? Um, take the risk that it might be a bad clone. And I have to say right now, this is a great clone. It is it just exceeded my expectations. Um, when you pull it, the gearbox feels great. It it's smooth, it's reliable, it feels nice. I looked at the gearbox; it's not going to break on you. Uh, nothing on this gun is going to break on you. Uh, let's just get on to the review because it's you can see it. Um, all right, so the box, pretty standard box. And here's what's interesting: the gun. Alright, so the gun comes with a FAMOS lookup thing that has a glare on it. A charger. A large 8.4 volt 1500 milliamp battery. Oh, I love that noise. Um, quick loader. because you will be using it with this gun if you're using the standard mags. Um, I'd recommend buying a high cap from Tokyo Marui because they're the only other people to make it. Um, JP did not make a high cap with this. It only comes with a 60 round magazine. That's the ba only bad thing I can think about it. Um, it also comes with a bag of BBs. Don't use them. And the gun. Okay, first impression of this gun, it's heavy. Um, this gun weighs about 10 pounds, lots of metal, but it is very balanced. Here, I'll show you. It's not going anywhere. It's put all its weight right around here, which is perfect, because that's exactly what you're putting into your shoulder, and it doesn't feel like you're really holding anything just because of how well balanced it is. Alright, uh, so the magazine comes out, clicks into place very positively. You love to hear that noise, you like to know it's locked in place, it's not going to fall out. Um, I'll do the rest of the review back over here. Alright, so, metal and plastic parts. Uh, most of this gun is plastic. Pretty much the whole body here, this is ABS plastic from here all the way up to here. This is all ABS plastic, including the cheek rest right here. I'll get more on that later. Um, the grip, this grip is actually metal. The full grip and the front grip, the fore grip. All this is metal. Um, foregrip is plastic, the sling mounts are metal, and if you're wondering why I didn't get the version with the bipod, it's because the bipod version doesn't allow you to have sling mounts. So I figured sling or bipod, and I want the sling because the sling's a lot more useful. Um, the, sling mount, the sling mounts are metal, both of them. There's one on each side, one here, and there's one there. There's also two in the back, these are metal as well. One there one there, so it's, this gun is completely ambidextrous. Um, the charging handle is metal, and it feels very nice. It doesn't do anything, but it's there on the real FAMOS, so they kind of have to put it here, and I like how they put it here. Um, the hop-up itself is exposed by the cheek rest once you take it off. Um, cheek rest, you just pop right off. You can also put it on, this is for right-handers on this side. If you wanted to, if you're left-handed, you can click it in on this side. It's hard to do with one hand, but there we go. 
So it clicks on on that side. To get it to hop up, you just take it off, and it's this little dial right here. You just turn it. More and turn it for less. So good hop up system. People are messaging me. Probably should have signed off. Um, Alright, so where the battery gets installed. The, this little thing almost acts as a double safety. You just push it out of the way, then put, continue to push it forward and pop the whole front off. It's kind of hard to do with one hand, but two, it's really fast. Just pop it right off. The large volt, the large 8.4 volt fits right in there, and you just connect it. So, it fits perfectly, you don't really have to worry about cramming anything in. Put it back in, you just click it back in. Alright, so, I don't believe I ever went over all the metal parts. The magazine is metal as well, by the way. Oh yes, the front grip here, this whole front part is metal. So, back over here, what was I going to do next? Selector switch. Clicks very positively. All the way over is in safe right now. Semi-automatic. Fully automatic. As I said, this gun, with the way they have it designed, is completely ambidextrous. Either a left and right-handed person can use it very easily. Um, a cool feature about this gun, if you look at the back, that screw there, all you gotta do to replace the fuse, unscrew that screw, take out the back butt plate, and it, expo it exposes the fuse. And then you can switch it out. Um, this is Tokyo Marui compatible, since it is an exact clone of the Tokyo Marui. And the thing you're probably wondering, what a lot of people wondered, I did. Does it creak? No, it does not creak. No creaking whatsoever. Which is really nice, because if you ever held the Tokyo Marui version, you knew that if you moved it at all, it would make a loud, irritating creak. And it would also get you out in games. So yeah. Sights on this gun. There are a lot of different sights on this gun. What it is right now is for long range. It has a tight one. A larger one. The front one is just a little tiny post. That is movable. Let's see if I can balance this right here. There we go. It is movable left and right. So there's lots of different sights you can use. Um, or you could flip down both of these and use the flip up sight, which you can either just aim from the top or aim from the hole right there. I personally myself would use it like that. I've just kind of gotten used to that after being an M4 user so much. And there's also, uh, this goes with this actually, flip up sight for that. Alright, so, I believe I've gone over everything with this gun. This gun is being sold at Red Dragon Airsoft. I have a link up in the video, I'll, up in the video info. Please look at it. Please do not ask me where to get it or all the info and everything. Just click on the link, contact information, everything. So, that is Red Dragon Airsoft's review of the JP Falmoth.